Welcome back to another weekly gaming roundup sponsored by Burger King. This week in gaming, Sega is developing big budget remakes of Crazy Taxi and Jet Set Radio. They're looking for a global hit to rival Fortnite and these two games are the first titles in Sega's Super Game Initiative where they reboot their existing properties and try and make some new money from them. Crazy Taxi was one of those super addictive arcade style games where you would just get in the zone and lose hours of time and it did incredibly well in the market thanks to the PS2 port. Jet Set Radio had less of a following but pioneered cell shaded graphics and could honestly be transformed into a cool multiplayer world if done right now. There's another few years development ahead so we will keep an eye on this one for you. And in more Sega news, Sonic Origins got a release date. The collection of early Sonic games comes out on the 23rd of June and includes Sonic 1 and 2, Sonic CD and Sonic 3 and Knuckles. But many fans weren't happy to see the exclusive pre-order and DLC content that's split between a few packages or an all-in-one digital deluxe pack. It seems to fall into the category of locking off content for the sake of having a DLC and charging just slightly more to encourage players to cave into FOMO and spend €45 Euro on the complete package instead of €40 Euro on the standard edition that doesn't have the character animation in the main menu. Yep, seriously, that's monetized content. All they really had to do was make a Shadow the Hedgehog skin and let me play Green Hill Zone, skating around like a boss, and my money would be their money. Lord be damned. Blizzard have announced the new Dragonflight expansion for World of Warcraft, which will add dragon riding as well as a new race class combo, Drakthir Evokers. While no release date was given for this, WoW has released an expansion every two years or so since launch, and the last one came out in November 2020, so we could see this by year's end, or maybe just a bit further out. Blizzard also announced that the Wrath of the Lich King will be added to WoW Classic sometime later this year, because I needed yet another thing to become addicted to. And one for the rumour mill, Game Boy and Game Boy Advance emulators for the Nintendo Switch Online service have seemingly leaked. Screenshots were posted to 4chan which showed emulators in development by Nintendo. Actual camera footage of the emulators was released too but has since been removed. Nintendo have yet to respond to the apparent leak so do take this with a pinch of salt. But we can't help but hope that someday soon we can be playing Legend of Zelda at the Minish Cap and Wario Land 4 on a modern console. And that's it for this week. Let us know what you think in the comments. Does Crazy Taxi Remake interest you? How do you feel about the Sonic DLC content lock-off? And what Game Boy games would you hope to see come to the Switch Online service? If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like is a huge help to us and be sure to subscribe and follow for more videos like this. And for even more news and reviews, head to entertainment.ie gaming.